Welcome back to TMZ Live. Um, we have to talk about something that honestly has uh, enraged both of us, and I, and I know just from looking online, thousands and thousands of other people. Uh, it is a reaction to the terrorist attack by Hamas uh, that started on Saturday and which has now put Israel at war. This is what the Black Lives Matter Chicago chapter, and I want to emphasize that, that is the Chicago chapter, um, that posted this yesterday. And you saw it yesterday evening, called me, <laughs> because you couldn't believe what you were seeing, but it is uh, an image of a paraglider with the Palestinian flag flying off of his chute. And, I want to, uh, and it I, says I, underneath it, I stand with Palestine. Now, the caption, I think, also bears, because the caption to me is defiantly saying, I know, I know what you, your reaction is going to be to this. And the caption says, that is all. Yeah, this is BS. That is Th it. This is BS. So that paraglider, by the way, the paragliders are the ones who flew into Israel and they decapitated babies, shot and killed babies, raped women, killed women, took hostages, slaughtered families in their homes. These are disgusting, vile terrorists. That's all they are. And that so picture, the, the reason we know about the paragliders is Hamas, they're the ones that released the video right. of the paragliders because they were so proud of the carnage. And Black Lives Matter in Chicago embraced the killing of Jews. They are There's Hitler, a, hold on, they are Hitler-esque. They are a Hitler-esque organization to do something like that, period. They, these are Nazis, essentially, trying to exterminate Jews, and they are embraced by Black Lives Matter in Chicago. It is disgusting. Yeah, the, 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 st the statement, I stand with Palestine, has nothing to do with those paragliders. Nothing. Nothing. The paragliders nothing. were terrorists, nothing. and they wanted the world to know the terror that they were unleashing. And so why? This is anti-Semitic. They want to exterminate Jews and the Black Lives Matter what movement is, in Chicago. What is stunning to me is that Ugh. the Black Lives Matter organization at, on the national level has not denounced this. They have said nothing. Because it is damaging. It is incredibly damaging. How do you what, not? Whatever credibility, and Black Lives Matter has had its issues over the last few years um, as far as credibility and people feeling like there were the allegations of, of embezzlement and all of that. So they've had their issues. This is a, a death knell to the Black Lives Matter movement if this is what they're going to well, espouse. Well, the, the and organization. That, and that, and that yeah. the organization, is, the national organization, isn't saying, I'm, I do not understand That's, why there's not... When, when we were talking on the phone last night, that was the first thing we said is, right. what are they doing? And I doing? started searching online. Like, and they, weren't, and, and they didn't do anything. Can and up to this point that we are recording this, there has been nothing. Can you imagine? I, I just want to give you a hypothetical. Can you imagine if the ADL, and they would never do this, but let's say the ADL came out with a poster of a political candidate and showed Top's Market in Buffalo where a racist shot and, there, killed shot and killed black people, right. and they basically made it look like this is what they're supporting. Can you imagine, right. number one, what the reaction would be, and number two, the notion that the ADL would not come out and denounce it if a chapter of ADL did right. that? Right. It would be it outrageous. Is, and, and, and this is what we talked about last night. How, how have we gotten to this point? That, we're, at, we're at that point. That this how, is, how have we gotten to this point that, and we talked about this last night, that in the 60s, oh, that two that civil were, rights workers were Jewish right, in 1964 were Jewish who were killed in Mississippi. Shoulder to shoulder yeah. with black people for the civil rights movement. Um, and now we're at this point where such brazen uh, and disgusting anti Semitism can be expressed. You know, it's really, without, it, it's really interesting that you say anti Semitism. It, it, you know, Anti I know about, about anti-Semitism, that it exists and it's growing. This feels like it goes beyond anti-Semitism. It's extermination. It's it is genocide. It is what Hitler did. It is what Nazis did. And it's being embraced by Black Lives Matter in Chicago. And the national organization, to this moment, has said nothing. It is now, appalling. The Chicago chapter did have some response. Um, and I looked, there were thousands upon thousands, tens of thousands of reactions to that post. This is their, what they said this morning. 
Yesterday, we sent out messages that we aren't proud of. I don't think that's a reference to the graphic, to the I Stand with Palestine. It's more about their engagement with people online. We stand with Palestine and the people who will do what they must to live free. They're, just, they're justifying the Hamas. Numbers, those rescuing babies from rubble who are in danger of being wiped out completely. We stand with Palestine and the people who will do what they must do to live free. That is justifying what Hamas did with this carnage. It is outrageous. And Harvey, the, the rest of the statement where they're talking about babies being rescued from the rubble, that is about Israel's response with bombing after right. the terrorist attack. So the, even the babies they're talking about there are not the babies you were right. referring to. Right, and yet they weren't, were exactly, yet they're, they can't understand what the terrorists did to babies and mothers uh, when they attacked on Saturday and continued for days uh, to come. That organization it is, is Hitler-esque. It's, um, it is just sad, and and if Black Lives Matter doesn't, as a national organization, say something about it, they are allowing people will take it as they are that they believe the same thing, and that's I would certainly hope is not the case, but that's what it looks like when you say nothing. Hi, I'm Tokyo Japan. I'm calling from South Houston, Texas. Honestly, I think it's disgusting. If we celebrated the killing of Palestinian women and children, it would be immediately shut down as repulsive. But we do it to Jews in Israel because the far radical left loves extremism and all of a sudden it's justified because of the inner conflicts going on over there. Half of the damage wouldn't be going on if we didn't arm and fund Iran, which openly supports Hamas. We gave yep. Iran hundreds of millions of dollars. Billions, billions. Yeah, billions, yep. And we allow BlackRock to own both sides of the war, which people should look into, which yeah. is why it's a perpetual never ending war. And for them to come out with this half-assed apology. It's saying not an apology. Yeah, it's, it's, not it's not an apology. It's, it's not even an apology. The people who will do what they must to live free. It's like, are we watching the same footage? Are we talking about the same subject? Sadly, we are. No, 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 no. Sa no, sadly, we are. Th that organization likes what they saw. Don't make any mistake about it. They like the carnage, the beheading, the rape. They like it. And don't be mistaken otherwise. <sighs> Uh, we got we got to take All a right. break. Uh, when we come back, uh, we are going to be joined by uh, someone who saw what happened in Israel and acted very swiftly. Left New York, where he worked in tech, was a uh, founder of a tech company, and went to fight in Israel. He's going to join us from Israel, where he has joined the IDF forces in an attempt to fight back against the terrorism. Noy Leib will be with us when we come back.